it's time to install the rear suspension. First, tighten the suspension clamp. This specific suspension mount can be set to different heights as required. I set myself the highest option. Looks like the suspension bolt isn't going through. Maybe there is too much paint blocking the way, so I'm hammering it gently. But it may be necessary to use a file to carefully work the hole bigger. The rear suspension is a DNM Lair 650 LBS, costing around 70 euros. Most of the bolts that came with the frame are already greased, which prevents them from loosening while driving. For the front suspension, I used the RockShox Domain for 400 euros. The frame already has a factory sealed bearings. On the front fork, I'm adding the conversion ground race ring fork adapter that came with the frame. Since it is a split ring, you can use a screwdriver to gently set in place. It is a good idea to apply waterproof grease to place where water may get into. The grease I'm using is not ideal, but uh, it was the only one I had. Next, I'm adding the split compression ring. After that, the top cover. The upper ground goes on top. Since I'm a big guy, I want the handlebar to be a maximum height. Adding the headset spacers. I discovered that one spacer is missing. I decided to temporarily put on a small iron blade ring to tighten everything. Then I had the stem and then top cap. When uh, screwing on the top cap, the things in the bottom should be nicely compressed, leaving no room for blade. Assuming uh, there are enough spacers. After uh, everything is nice and tight, I fastened the upper ground with bolts. The upper crown should now hold the front fork neatly together, even if I temporarily remove the top cap. When attaching the underbar, it is important no one bolt is tightened too much at once, but that everything is fastened with equal strength in turns. I uh, checked the handlebar is nicely parallel to the front fork before final tightening. Next, I remove the free wheel cassette from my other bike to transfer it to new bike. I'm applying waterproof grease in hopes that in the future it will be easy to remove from the free wheel. As with everything, unforeseen problems may arise. This time the free wheel do not fit the new bike. 
the wheel axle is too big. I uh, fasten it temporarily with my hand, but I need to figure out better solution for the future. I figure I should, should tighten itself further while driving. Not sure. I'm using a regular seat pot solution. The tube is 31.6 mm in diameters. It is possible to buy a motorcycle saddle with the enduro bike sells for 60 euros. Lastly, I'm installing the Brooks P70 saddle, also from my other bike. It's starting to resemble a bicycle now, but there's still so much work left to do. Mm -hmm. 